And the new year is just two days away, and many of us are already rolling out our list of New Year's resolutions. 23ABC's Leslie Marine is live from Pinnacle Performance Institute with what resolutions could be benefiting you in the long run. Good morning, Leslie. Good morning, Lindsay. Starting January 1st, gyms like this will be packed. And although fitness resolutions may seem cliche, experts say they could reduce your risk of cancer. My year's resolution is to go into 2014 being nothing but positive. My new year's resolution is that um, I would become a lot better in soccer. New Year's is always a time for many people to start fresh. You know, I think it's the time of year when we really assess, you know, where we want to go in this next year. It's a fresh start for all of us. While we decide what goals is set for the next year, the American Cancer Society says some of the most popular resolutions can actually reduce your risk of cancer. Drinking less alcohol, eating healthy food, getting fit, losing weight, quitting smoking, and volunteering to help others are all goals that can provide you a healthier lifestyle. But while making a resolution can be easy, fitness experts say it's sticking to it that's the hard part. What my biggest advice would be is to find a goal that you can actually attain. It can't, it can't be too extreme. Pinnacle Performance is just one of many gyms that will be having some deals all throughout the month. They're actually having a deal for $49.99 for the first month. And Lindsay coming up will tell you what other types of exercises you can do to actually stick to your New Year's resolution. All right, Leslie, looks like you're having fun boxing out there. Yeah, I am. This is this is a lot easier than the stuff I did this morning. I know, easier than throwing those ropes around. 